Australia, the land of some of the strangest and deadliest creatures on the planet. Its unique geographical terrain and location have given rise to some unique creatures. Sadly, many have been lost to extinction, but in a similar note to the recent rediscovery of the lost bear in Russia, another one of these lost animals has been found. In this video, let's take a look at the species of thought to be extinct kangaroo and ask if it could offer us hope in finding other lost animals and possibly cryptids. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. A lost species of kangaroo has been found and photographed for the first time in history. This lucky sighting captured by a tourist to the area. The British holidaymaker Michael Smith snapped a picture of the tree kangaroo or Wandi Woi to give it its proper name. When we think of kangaroos most people's mind jump to the continent of Australasia but this tree dwelling marsupial was found in a place we have mentioned in another cryptid video. Papua, Indonesia. It seems that this location keeps giving stories and sightings of extinct creatures and animals that are meant to be mythical. The Wandi Woi is a creature that heads up the 25 most lost species along with creatures such as the Wallace giant bee, the shovel nose sturgeon and the Sinu parakeet. The last time anyone had seen this animal was way back in 1928 and until this picture it had never been captured on film. Michael was on a two week expedition to find new species of orchids in West Papua. He turned his sights on the long lost tree kangaroo after spotting claw marks on trees. The intrepid tourist managed to track the tree kangaroo in the area he was exploring. After staking out the area he caught a glimpse of something that resembled a teddy bear some 30 meters up in the tree canopy. He took out his camera and snapped away catching the image of what experts say was an extinct animal. There are plans in place to return to the location of the pictures with conservationists, camera traps and other equipment in an attempt to verify that this species is back from the dead. The area remains largely untouched and unexplored due to the remote location and impenetrable thick vegetation on the steep slopes. So if anything needs a place to hide this would be perfect. So this got me thinking of other cryptids and one which has interested me since I was a child. A cryptid that could possibly be some strange or undiscovered species of marsupial. The bunyip. This animal common to aboriginal folklore is said to be a river and swamp dwelling beast. Tail tells of how the creature will defend its watery home from those foolish enough to enter. The bunyip has a varying range of descriptions with its appearance described as something similar to a crocodile covered in feathers and said to have long tail with tusks and flippers. This animal's unusual mix of features making it similar to the platypus. Or maybe it could even be part of the same family being a larger variant of the species. To prove this and show that the bunyip is more than a mythical animal would take evidence. So has there been any hard proof beyond these aboriginal tales and strange noises in the night? In 1846 there was a discovery of a large skull in an isolated area associated with bunyip calls, seemingly providing physical evidence of the bunyip's existence. The bunyip skull was found on the muddy banks of the Murrin Bidji River in New South Wales submitted to and examined by experts who concluded that the skull was from a creature unknown to science. In 1847 the strange skull was put on display at the Australian Museum in Sydney. During the skull's exhibition at the museum for a period of two days the Sydney newspapers reported a large increase in bunyip sightings. The skull had created bunyip fever and everyone was associating each and every strange shadow and noise in the night to the bunyip. 
This all died down when other experts claimed that the skull was nothing more than a disfigured cow or horse. Seems like a convenient explanation to calm the people to me. So if we speculate and suggest that what they found was a real bunyip skull, are there any creatures from the past that could give us an answer as to what has been a creature of legend for so long? Diprotodons were large rhino sized plant eating marsupials thought to have gone extinct some 10,000 years ago. So maybe just like our friend the tree kangaroo or the Russian bear we covered in another video, could it still be around just on the point of extinction? A few creatures hidden eking out a quiet existence. Diprotodons shared many of the same physical features attributed to the bunyip. They had a face like that of a dog as well as long shaggy coats. Maybe this could look like feathers when wet. A few scientists have proposed the theory that the bunyip is a seal, a common marine mammal found along the coasts of Australia. But that doesn't explain how, if it were a seal, it could cross the massive barren and dry stretches of land to inhabit a swamp or a billabong. Bunyip sightings have decreased in recent years leading some to claim that if the creature was in fact true, it too has now joined the ranks of the extinct. Have you heard of the bunyip before? What do you think about the rediscovery of another said to be extinct animal? What other creatures do you think we will find again someday soon? Is the bunyip a known creature of antiquity or something new to science? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.